John Fink here from Gamer HQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, PS4 Guitar Hero Live controller for your PC. With a from Windows 7 on, there's already a driver for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug it in to your USB, and it may have a flashing light. It may already be on. Depends. If it's flashing, it means it hasn't paired. So you'll hit the button. It'll go into pairing mode. And you'll see on the guitar, it's waiting to pair. So you'll hit power. Or in my case, I hit the on button, which is actually another button. And it'll pair up. If you keep seeing flashing, flashing lights like this, you got screwed over or something went wrong. You got a bad guitar. So once you pair, it'll blink and it'll go solid. And the indicator light will show which port it's on depending on how many of these things you actually have running on your computer. So first what we need to do is go to RARLab.com and install and download WinRAR. You can use the 32-bit or the 64-bit version, depending on which OS version you have for Windows, or they also have Mac and Linux as well. So once we have that installed, which I've already downloaded, I've already actually got it installed, but I'm going to walk you through this process anyway, so you say OK. We're going to install it to the WinRAR, and we're going to select all these options, especially 7-Zip, because this is a 7-Zip, and we're done. Once we do that, we're going to go to clonehero.net, we're going to click on download. Now the version it shows up by default is Windows, which is what we're going to be downloading. I've actually already downloaded this as well. If you have other operating systems such as Mac or Linux, they have uh, binaries for either of those as well, which are also easy to install. So this actually takes a little while to download, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I already have it downloaded. I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to scroll down to... Where did I put it? We're going to go to Clone Hero. We're going to close that. We're going to open this up. We're going to select all the files. And I already have a Clone Hero directory. And so you're going to create a Clone Hero directory. You're going to extract and choose a Clone Hero directory. So in this case, we do this C Clone Hero. Just going to extract. I've already got it there, so I'm just going to say yes to all. But you, sh you won't, so you'll just. Uh, It'll extract without any problems. Now for some song charts, because it only comes with one song, the latest version right now comes with a Dragon Force song, which uh, by default is always difficult. But if you come here to this Google Docs uh, link that I'm going to give you to a spreadsheet, there's going to have stuff for charts, set lists, all the games that you would like to get songs for. Now there's actually a lot of dead links. Uh, I'm trying to get a permission from the owner of the Google Docs account to let me curate the list so I can get rid of a lot of the dead links and probably back up and make us a, a mirror for some of these files. So that's really all there is to it. Once you have a couple of song packs installed, you can load Clone Hero up and you can play them. But first we got to set up our controller. To do that, we're going to hit the space bar. As you can see, I already have all my settings set, so uh, I don't have to do anything. You'll see that I actually have a hat down and a hat right uh, set, which is actually because in Windows 7, there's an issue with the strum bar not allowing you to strum and hold notes at the same time, so I t changed those toggles for the switch for the bar the strum bar to the uh, toggle for the uh, knob at the bottom so now that we've got our control set up we're going to press the start button and you're going to create a new profile you can either log in as guest or create a profile I already have one so I'm going to select that uh, if you hit button one that's not right. If you hit button, if you hit the start button, 
it'll bring your controller up. Now this is where you can set what controller you use, either a 6 fret or a 5 fret. You can set up your uh, note speed, whether you play left handed, whether tilt's enabled or not, and whether you're going to use a game pad. You can change your highway for your, for your fretboard. You can enable a bot to play the game for you, uh, and you can set out other options. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip out of that, we're going to go to direct play. And I got my toggle kind of messed up right now, so it's not one to cooperate with me. Now, I suck at this game because I got nerve damage in my hand. So typically what I do is I play the bass versions of each of the songs. So once you got everything set up, you should be able to play just like this. And that's all there is to it. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns or any of that stuff, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom. And uh, this channel is going to be growing as we go on. Thank you.